And then he argues about prayer and what the purpose of prayer is. He says prayer is entering into the presence. And the reason that you say Allahu Akbar is you are pushing this world away from you and putting it behind you and you are entering into a state of presence with your Lord. And then he says, you begin, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Praise be to the Lord of the worlds, the merciful, the compassionate. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Mediki Yomi Deen, the sovereign of the day of judgment or the master of the day of judgment. And then you speak directly. This is in Arabic called iltifat, where you move from a, a third person tense, what they call a khitab al-ghaib, to khitab al-hadir, where you move from speaking to somebody who's absent to speaking to somebody who's present. Iyaka na'abudu. To you alone we worship. Iyaka nasta'in. To you alone we seek help. That this is, he says, this is what the Fatiha is. It's to enter into the presence of your Lord. It's not just to go through these motions, uh, this perfunctory act that you have to do five times a day. That this is about coming to intimate discourse with your Lord. And then you speak to your Prophet directly. As-salamu alayka, ayyuhan nabi. Peace be upon you. That's not salamu alayhi, as-salamu alayka. Because you understand that there is a spiritual presence. There is a spiritual presence. The Prophet ﷺ said, تُعْرَضُ عَلَيَّ عَمَالُكُمْ I see your actions. This is a sahih hadith in Al-Bazaar. I see your actions in the grave. فَإِذَا وَجَدْتُ خَيْرًا حَمِدْتُ اللَّهِ وَإِذَا وَجَدْتُ شَرًا أَسْتَغْفَرْتُ لَكُمْ If I see good, I praise God that these are my people, that I taught them to do good and they're doing good. And if I see you doing wrong, I ask forgiveness. He doesn't curse us. He doesn't say, why aren't they doing good? He asks forgiveness for us.